Getting so sick and tired of the talking head spending so much time and energy knocking the Chargers head coach Brandon Staley for playing most of his starters for three quarters in Sunday's loss at Denver when the result wouldn't affect his team's playoff seed. Listen, if we owned the Chargers, Staley wouldn't have been around to play the starters in Denver because we'd let him off the field by his ear into the locker room and out the door during LA's week three matchup against these Jags for sending quarterback Justin Herbert out there with very injured ribs and several absent O-line starters. He could barely move. The Jags knew it. They pounded him into turnovers and won a 38 to 10 blowout. Anyway, that which doesn't kill makes him stronger. The color commentator for Chargers Broncos watched Russell Wilson complete some long balls over the Chargers head in the second half and said something like, the Jaguars are watching this and saying, hey, we can throw deep on these guys. Yeah, you know what? It's not that simple. The Chargers defensive philosophy in games that matter is designed to prevent long completions, often at the expense of being generous against the run. The more exploitable secondary is Jacksonville's, which has had the luxury of facing the lousy pass offenses of Tennessee, the Jets, Houston, and Tennessee in four of its last five games, but giving up 23 for 30, 256, three TD passes to Dallas in between those games, and 31 for 41, 351, two touchdown passes to Detroit before that stretch. In other words, I am loving and I'm going to be all over the Chargers here as the play in this one. Give me the Chargers, which is currently sitting at only minus two. I think they win this one by a couple of touchdowns. Chargers minus two is my play here. What say you? Let me know in the comment section below. Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Good luck and go get them. This is Trending Rabbit.